programs? What is it? Because this is another one. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know, uh, to be honest with you. I, I think that, uh, you know, you, I don't know, I, I want to say like the last five or six of these games have come down to the last yeah. possession, and, and um, you know, we've been on, on the right side and the wrong side. Um, I, you know, you got what, what I consider, and, you know, two of top college basketball programs in the country uh, over time. And, you know, this is just another classic battle of it. Now, what do you take away? Um, you guys have had a lot of close, as Bob said, on the road this this year. Um, obviously, you guys wanted to get that big signature win. I mean, what do you take away from being in a game? Is there something to learn, to be learned about how to close on the road? Or, I mean, what do you take from it? Um, no, I don't know. I mean, it, 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 it's not like we had a 10-point lead or anything like that and, and lost it. Scraping and, and calling, and um, you know, I, I know this. We, we can't in this environment, uh, in this caliber, we go five for thirteen from the free throw line. Right? We, we, we miss some front ends or one on ones, and um, I, I don't. I wish I had an answer of what was going on there, but uh, uh, you know, we, we've got to make our free throws. Uh, and, and not asking for one hundred percent, but I, I mean, that's a, a part of it. it wasn't the, you know, we still kept playing? We still kept that. Um, one more thing. Um, you guys got Mark back today. Played very little. Uh, just your thoughts on just getting him back and, and your plan with him? Well, I, I think that you know we had a lineup out there a lot like you know last year we did. We we kind of rolled a, a certain lineup and I thought they had a really good understanding. You know, I, I think we had him with 13 points for 13 minutes in the second half, and, and um, you know those guys had a pretty good feel for what was going on. Coach, can you talk about the Tom Nairn and also just the variety of ways. Well, you know, obviously he's, he's a very quick point guard. I'm glad that we were on the recipient of his first career three-point shot. Um, you know, <laughs> went in. Um, but you know, I, I think from the, the, the standpoint of, of what he did, you know, he, he did a great job running, running the team. And, and um, you know, I think the, the physicality with D'Angelo was uh, you know, they were able to get some, uh, some physical play on him. And, he didn't have uh, he was short of some shots, and, and uh, you know, that was three games in six days. I'm not sure. Okay, losing these games, you, these really close games, you get the feeling that maybe the opportunity is kind of slipping away from you. Your league is so bunched up, and every one of these obviously is costly. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, any losses is costly. I think that uh, you know, I, we knew coming in here today, um, you know, watching Michigan State play there night against Northwestern, uh, you know, we were going to see uh, a, a great Michigan State basketball team. And I think that's what I saw on the film I'd watch coming in. I thought they played very, very well. I think in terms of, um, you know, you, you look and say, two-point loss and a three-point loss, and this is a three-point loss. Um, I can say something about our guys that like, dang, you know, it's, it's not that far away. Uh, and just in terms of, of where we are, um, you know, I don't want to hang my hat or hang my head too far on a, on a three-point loss at Michigan State in this today. But, um, yeah, I, I think we got to keep finding ways. And, and uh, you know, the first half was, was a little bit detrimental to us. They had to run from the seven on down or whatever it was uh, that, that buried us. Uh, but give a nice credit, they came back and got the lead.